Number one is loose Nelly Furtado. Okay, I s <laughs> the new hit song, I, let me gather my thoughts on this one because the new hit song for Nelly Furtado is Promiscuous. Now this is a woman whose previous hit song was I'm a bird, so I guess her follow up to that is I'm a slut. And the most amazing thing about Nelly Furtado's new song is that she does the least amount of rapping on it while other people, a, a guy in fact, actually does the most amount of singing slash rapping on this song. So it's, I don't really know how it is her song in the first place. And, I, and everyone knows about this. Everyone knows about this. So she's, she's popular, I think, because of this image now. She's trying to create this promiscuous image. And, and quite frankly, get over it. You're buying not into the song, you're buying into her image. And let me tell you, she's not going to sleep with you. And for all the gay fanboys who have you on, have her on your MySpace page already, she's not your girl. She's not your best friend. So go find better music. In fact, I brought one. Um, this came out a few weeks ago. I think I'm going to do this because I never listen to any of the crap that I'm told to tell you is coming out. Uh, Elf Power. And maybe they'll put a graphic for it because it's going to be hard to see. But Elf Power. This is good. Go get Elf Power. Okay. That's it. I'm done. I'll use that. It's not hilarious, but it's something. <sighs> okay. Hi, this is Joel with Story Pipe World Economy News. Six items, as always. Number six. The next big economy has been dubbed China 15 years ago, and it is India. India is building 450 more shopping malls, and President Bush has made India a key foreign concern. 450 shopping malls. Man, we might lose Sam Goody and Hot Topic to them. Number five, how much pay is enough? ExxonMobil shareholders recently expressed disapproval of their former CEO's compensation of $147 million. Uh, I'm sorry, Exxon shareholders. You're worried that your CEO went off with too much money when you're the shareholder in a, the company that had the largest single quarterly profit in history, which was $10 billion of profit. You purchased into this corruption of greed and price gouging. You purchased into this company that leads the way among preventing alternative fuel sources from heading to market. And ooh, in you know, encourages global warming. You actually want me to feel sorry for you that you didn't make as much money as you should have? Shut up. Number four, the Middle East is so unstable that the USS Cole, which has been bombed by, whoop. Number four, the Middle East is so unstable that the USS Cole, which was bombed by terrorists in October 2000, is being deployed there. Remember a few weeks ago when I said that the military sank an aircraft carrier in about four hours? you know, a whole bunch less time than they were expecting it to take. Number three, let's acknowledge the fact that for the first six months of any pandemic, we're not going to have a vaccine, according to Health and Human Services Secretary Mike Levitt. Well, we don't have enough right away, but after six months of people die, it balances out, and then we have enough. Number two and number one, two final stories to consider. According to reports, consumer confidence in the economy is dropping as gas prices stay high. But number one, Tiffany & Company reports a 7.7% increase in sales of its luxury goods. Apparently those tax breaks are really, really helping the economy. It's really going back in with people buying diamond bracelets and stuff. That's really good for infrastructure. Love for U.S. slipped from 71% to 56% this year. So, uh, here we go. Here's the unreally. <laughs> I have nothing to say about this. But I was told I must. <laughs> okay, I'm out.